Hello everyone, very good morning. You are watching my YouTube channel CloudX India. So guys, in today's topic, I am going to cover a very interesting part of Active Directory, which is Active Directory structure. So guys, I have just started the Active Directory classes or video, you can say, or session, okay? And I'm covering from the beginning, okay? So this is the day four, and in day four, I'm going to talk about the Active Directory structure. So this is not a basic topic, guys. This is a very important and essential for the Active Directory. If you are going to provision, so you have to think of it, right? So in your lab, basically, you may not consider it or take it seriously, but any organization when going to provision or plan for Active Directory, they must think about this one and do the discussion. There are several discussion will go, okay? Security team, architecture team, every member will involve here, okay? To understand the company requirement, locations, uses, department, okay? And then decide how to, how the structure looks like. How many domain do we need? Do we need multiple OU or not? How many locations are there? Okay, how many domain controllers do we require? So these, these things come under the structure review, okay? So let's see this essential and important part of Active Directory and understand what is the Active Directory structure, how does it looks like, and what is the like types, how many types are there, okay? So the first thing we have to understand this structure. So there are two types of structure available in Active Directory. One is logical, another one is the physical. So when I say logical, so logical is a security boundary like your forest, domain, child, OU. And physical structure, which we use to manage our logical structure. Like physical structure is domain controller, sites and services, okay? So this is physical structure. We'll talk about all the part in one by one, okay? So the logical structure, we will discuss first the logical structure. So logical structure, as I say, it's a security, logical security boundary. We create this isolation or relationship in Active Directory due to several reasons, okay? So we create this isolation, okay? So suppose you have, a parent domain and child domain. So this is the isolation of your organization. Parent domain has its own identity, okay? Identity, entity, and child domain has its own identity and entity. It has their own object. So there are the business requirement, okay? Business wants to keep the parent's asset into the parent domain, child asset into the child domain. We'll talk. We'll see why it is important and required okay so we create this relationship so once you create the parent and child so parent child automatically create the relationship that is the reason i have written here we create this isolation or relationship in equity due to several reasons so first administrative requirement which is very important you have to define the administrative purpose, administrative requirement, how, like, who will access what, who can reset the password of user, who can uh, add the users into the group, right? So there are so many things, which is known as the delegation of authority, okay? The next, isolation due to different policies. Definitely, if you have the organization, there are several requirements in your organization. You have several in different OU and it has a different policy for patching and everything for the client there is different policy for the users you have different policy for group you have different policy okay so for the due to the different policy we also do the isolation isolation based on object class yes so if you have client system you will keep in separate user you will keep in separate okay in separate OU group you will keep in separate OU so there are so many different different uh, like uh, object class we have right like OU group computers okay so we also do the isolation based on it so before you begin design your active directory logical structure it is important to understand the active directory logical model so once you understand the logical model 
the Active Directory structure will automatically clear for you. Okay, so let's see what is the logical model. So suppose you are going to your organization proposed uh, like a plan to provision the directory environment, right? And you get a chance to work in it. So once you go and provision the first domain environment, so that is known as the forest. Okay, so you provision one Active Directory environment. So this AD environment known as the forest and it create a logical security boundary. Okay, a forest can have multiple domain. Remember, it has multiple domain. Okay, and this is known as the child domain or tree. So here in my picture, I have a child domain. Okay, so the first domain what you have provision that is known as the parent domain. Okay, and the other domain is known as child domain. So I have two child domain here. The question come in mind. Why do we need multiple domain in my organization? Okay, so take an example. CloudX is training organization. Okay, so it provides the training. Okay, and there is training uh, employees related to the cloudxindia.com is the belong to the training domain. Okay, so suppose there are multiple employees, trainers, okay, student details, students enrollment, like when a student comes create the student ID. So every information related to the trainer or trainer user information user object training related groups we create in, into the cloudx india local okay but after some time business grow and cloudx india organization plan to deal into the different sector as well like health so once why we provision a different domain for the health the reason is organization doesn't want to mix up the environment Okay, any organization, if you go take an example of Reliance. So Reliance has different, different div division, right? Manufacturing part is completely different. Their account is completely different. Their employees is completely different. Their benefits is completely different. Communication part is completely different, right? Reliance Fresh is completely different. So their benefits, their employees, their policies are completely different. So as per the business, like CloudX India, it's training. And when CloudX India deal into the health, so it create a different domain so that it can create health employees information or account into the health.cloudxindia.com. Same as other company does. So any big organization, if you take, right, or medium-sized organization, like really here, take an example, okay, uh, Reliance, Tata, Microsoft, right? So you will see the differences over there. So there are several several uh, uh, domain inside the forest. Okay. So take an example. I deal into the health as well. So I create a health dot cloudxindia.com, and after some time, business also decide to deal into the telecommunication sector. Okay. So when it go into the telecom sector, so it decide the name or decide the plan to provision a new domain. Okay. Under the same forest which is known as the telecom.cloudxindia.com. So that is the reason the isolation of domain is, that is the reason to isolate the environment, okay? To keep their entity in separate, policies in separate, okay? So that is the reason every organization have multiple domain based on their business use, okay? So this is the one of the logical model, okay? So logical model forest, domain child domain and then the next come is the logical structure which is the last part i can say is the ou take an example i'll just uh, depict a picture here okay for uh, let me take the highlighter here so in this uh, child uh, domain tech telecom dot cloudx india i have uh, just just for imagination okay so there is the active directory environment it's active directory environment right so this is okay so under this 
take an example this is telecom so i mention telecom.cloudxindia.com okay so under the telecom so i created client system client system like end user system windows 7 or windows 8 so user like belong to the china i'll keep their all chinese system end user system into the china indian user system into the india us under the us client okay in the same way for the user specific right so china users so i'll create top view which is known as the reason okay so this is an either segregation or isolation and then i create their three ou different ou one is china other one is india and us in each region specific like china i have created two sub ou one if I create groups under the China for Chinese user, so I'll create a, another container which is known as group and I'll create all the groups under this for the China. And any employee when join to the telecom into the China, I'll place those users into the users. In the same way for India, I'll create Indians related users related group into the India OU and I'll place all India employee into the india users in the same way i have do i did for the us as well okay and suppose in your environment you have multiple servers as well so there is you have the end user system which is known as client and you have multiple server file server application server okay in your organization so for the servers i created another ou which is known as the servers okay and here i created again the reason location specific parent OU, CN for China, and under the CN, I created two different OU, Windows 2016 and 12. Okay, and for the same, I have created in India and US as well. Okay, so I also created two OU, 12 and 16 for India. Any server which is 2012 will go under India, inside India, into the 2012 and 2016, whatever the 2016 okay so why there are uh, uh, two things like two different categories if i talk about the groups or users or client system or server okay so take an example of the client so there is some policies of i i want to apply to all china system right and that could be the identical policy for them okay so suppose the policy will apply only china clients not to the india so i'll uh, create a policy group policy and apply to the china and for the indian users i'll apply to the india okay and if i come under the reason so in the reason for the china there may be a different policy on the parent label on the china and groups there will be a different policy users will be a different policy in the same way for india and us as well okay and when i come to the servers labels so, okay suppose uh, you have some different patching policy for 2012 and 2016 so due to do due to this you can also create a different ou right and uh, if you are doing the patching based on the ou however it is not recommended so or based on any policy right you can uh, we have segregated our environment so guys if in this video right so i hope you understand the logical structure and logic logical model right so the top logical model i say that is the forest top level logical model or structure the forest second is parent domain third one is child domain and ou this is the logical structure or you can say this is the logical model i hope it cleared if not please feel free to comment in comment section bar and uh, in next video i'll talk about what is the physical structure and how does it work okay and one more thing guys in the end i just want to uh, clear so these all environment are isolated okay so this is not over so there is another part as well in this video so this is these all environment are isolated the entity of this domain will stay here and child health stay here for telecom all the entity will stay here okay and these are correlated to each other this is the parent and child relationship
they have relationship however they are isolated but they have relationship the ou region specific i created for china users groups users but all are related to the this one telecom.cloudxindia.com okay so that is the logical isolation and the relationship as well there are some point which we have to keep in our mind what are those a forest is a collection of one or more active directory domains a forest shares a common logical structure always remember a forest shares directory schema and directory configuration and global catalog means if i go back so inside this forest all the domain this forest domain this forest domain will share the schema and configuration information with all the domains inside this forest okay and global catalog as well domain in the same forest are automatically linked with two way trust relationship which is known as the transitive trust all the domains in the same forest have transitive trust relationship okay a domain is a partition in ad forest a domain is a partition in ad forest partitioning data enable organizations to replicate data only to where it is needed ou can be used to form a hierarchy of container within a domain as you see okay and uh, ou are based of group object for administrative purpose group object based on it is basically used for the administrative purpose right or object class based on the object class we segregate or use it so guys that's all okay so i hope this video you enjoy the video if you have any comment or any feedback please do comment in my comment section bar and also guys please do like the channel okay subscribe it and share with your friend thanks guys thanks once again for watching the video